Hey, what's up guys? Chris McCarthy here with McFit Method, and today I've got a Garage Gym Warrior back workout for you today. Now, before we get started, make sure you do like and subscribe to this channel. I try to post new workouts for you every single day, or new videos every single day for you, so I don't want you to miss any of those. And also, in the description down below, I've linked up some of my free challenges. I've got a challenge down there for fat loss. I've got a challenge down there for muscle building, so feel free to go ahead and click on those and join me in those free challenges. All right, guys, let's start off with the back workout today and it's going to go like this. We are going to do four different back exercises and we're going to do reps of 15, 12, 9, and 6. Now the way that's going to work is you're going to start off with that first set of 15 reps at the lightest weight. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and rest for one minute and then we're going to go into 12 reps where we're increasing the weight. So we're decreasing the amount of reps but we're increasing the weight. Then we're going to rest for a minute again. Then we're going to go into that same movement again but we're decreasing the reps down to nine, increasing the weight again. And then the final set is only at six but it's going to be at the heaviest weight. Then you're going to rest for one minute and move on to the next movement. Now it starts off today, this back workout is going to start off today with dumbbell pullovers. So you're going to need a bench in a flat position. I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab a single dumbbell. Now, remember, we are doing 15 reps of this, so you want to pick the lightest weight because we're going to be increasing that weight as we decrease the reps. So I'm going to go back here and grab a you know, relatively light weight for these dumbbell pullovers. Now in this position, what you want to do is you're going to be resting the lower, the back part of your shoulders on this bench right here. So your scapula back there on this shoulder. And you're going to get into a position where you're leaning back, your legs should be bent at a 90 degree angle. You're going to bring in that dumbbell up overhead and then pressing it all the way up until it's fronting and uh, hanging in front of you. So I'll get this dumbbell. I'm going to lay my shoulders nice on the back of this. Uh, on, on the top of this bench and head is just over the top of that bench a little bit. You'll see here once again in this position. Legs should be at 90 degrees, grabbing this dumbbell, pressing it, holding up overhead. From this position, I'm going to start to lower that dumbbell down, engaging those lats in the back. Once I get to full extension here, I'm going to press, come back up and then all the way back up to top, then all the way back down, all the way up. And we're going to do a set of 15 of these dumbbell pullovers at this lightest weight. Once you've completed 15 of those, you're going to go ahead and get this dumbbell, you're going to set this down, and like I said, now you're going to go ahead and rest for one minute. But if you know me, I don't like to rest in there. We all know you have to rest because those muscles have to recover before you go on to the next set. But if you know me, I'm going to jump rope while I'm resting. So what that does is it is the secret to why you're able to burn body fat while you are building muscle. So you're working on the strength component here. You're building that muscle. You need, those muscles need time to rest so they recover. So then you could go ahead and move on to the next set. So instead of just resting and sitting there, I say pick up the jump rope, keep that heart rate up in that target fat burning zone, get some conditioning in there, get some mobility in there, get some intensity in there, burn fat while you're building the muscle. So I say pick up a jump rope and instead of resting for one minute, we're just going to jump rope for one minute. Now this could be just your basic two foot jump. You can go ahead and if you want to intensify it, go into a boxer step. You can do run in place. If you really want to intensify the workout, you can do double unders. Now that's going to give you two rotations of that jump rope for every single jump. Whatever you choose to do, just guys, pick up that jump rope. Keep that heart rate up in that fat burning zone while you're doing the whole workout. It makes no use just sitting there doing nothing, waiting for your muscles to recover. Pick up that jump rope, and that is the secret, like I said, to burning that body fat while you're building the muscle. All right, guys, so once you have completed that one minute of rest or one minute of jump rope, you're then going to go ahead and do that same set, dumbbell pullovers, but like I said, you're going to go ahead and increase the weight and decrease the reps down to 12. Then you have another one minute of jump rope or rest. Then you're gonna go ahead and do nine reps of that at a heavier weight and then six at the heaviest weight. Then you're gonna rest for another one minute. Then we're moving on to the next exercise in this back workout today, which is gonna be dumbbell bent over rows. So the bench is still in the flat position and we're gonna do single arm on these. So we're gonna do a set of 15 at a light weight on the right arm. Then we're gonna do 15 at the light weight on the left arm. Then we're gonna rest for that one minute and do the same sequence that we did before of the 12, 9, 6 and increasing the weight. So proper positioning here, I'm gonna grab this dumbbell. I'll start with the left arm here since it's facing the camera. Depending on the height of your bench, you can either go a straight arm here and row this way, or if you wanna kinda of get down into that a little bit more, if you have a little bit of a, a higher bench, you can then go down to the elbow. If your bench is a little bit lower, you'll probably wanna go on to the hand position here. 
Palm is going to be facing yourself here in this dumbbell position. Uh, I like to go down into this position on the elbow. I feel like it engages those lats a little bit better. Puts me in better position as far as working the back as opposed to working a shoulder. So the deeper you can kind of get down into this dumbbell row, the better it's going to be for your back and working that lat. So got a nice firm stance here. Grabbing this dumbbell. Back should be straight. Row up. Squeeze that lat at the top. Pause. Then slowly back down to full extension. Row up and then all the way down. You're going to do a set of 15 on one arm, then you're going to alternate over to the other arm. But like I said, this is 15, so you want to make sure you go on a light rep. Now, when you're rowing back, we're not rowing up to the side here. We're rowing back towards our hip. By bringing that elbow back, you're really going to engage that lat muscle. So, and also, squeeze that at the top and then focus on that negative. Don't just let it hang or drop down. 15 on each arm, and then rest for one minute. Or like I said, pick up this jump rope, guys. Keep that fat burning going. Then you're gonna do 12 reps at a heavier weight, nine reps at the heaviest weight, and then finally six reps at the heaviest weight that you're gonna do on those. Then after another one minute of rest, you're gonna go ahead and move on to the next movement it is going to be dumbbell incline bench flies. So I'm gonna set the one dumbbell off to the side here. We're gonna need two dumbbells from this, but we're also gonna need the bench in an incline position. So I think the best is if I go up like this, and from this position, so you can kind of see what I'm going from the back. I'll face it this way. I'm gonna grab two dumbbells. Once again, we're doing 15 reps of this, so make sure you're starting light. So we're gonna be putting our chest here on this bench, and we're gonna be flying back with a slight uh, bend in our elbows. So coming back like this, making sure that the elbows are staying kind of down around our lat muscle, mid-back area. If we come up over here and we're rowing we're flying back like this, it turns into a shoulder exercise. So when you're flying back, make sure that the elbows are kind of staying down more at a 45 degree angle than up here like this. So you're kind of flying back, it's gonna work those lats. So grab these two light 10 pound dumbbells because like I said, we're doing 15 reps of this today. Chest goes on the top of this, get a nice squat stance, and then palms are facing each other. We're gonna roll back, bring those elbows as close as we can back together and then back down slowly. All the way back up, squeeze to the top, then all the way back down. Roll back, and then back down. Like I said, make sure you are flying back towards mid-back level, not elbows up like this. When you do this, it's gonna turn into a shoulder exercise. All right, guys, so you're gonna do 15 of those incline flies, then you're gonna rest for one minute. Then we're gonna do the same sequence that we did before, where we're increasing the weights, decreasing the reps down to 12, increasing the weights, decreasing the reps to nine, Increasing the weight one last time, decreasing down to six. And like I said, one minute of rest in between each of those sets. But instead of resting, pick up that jump rope, guys. Just do your basic two-foot jump. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, just enough to keep that heart rate up, and you're getting that conditioning in there at the same time, guys. All right, after you've done that, now we're gonna move on to dumbbell incline bench rows. So we've got the bench already here at this um, incline position. So I'm just gonna kind of move it off to the side so you can see how I'm positioning myself for this row. It's kind of like the flies where you wanna make sure that we're not, we're not up here. We wanna bring them down, but we're gonna be rowing instead of flying. So we're gonna be rowing back, bring those elbows in close to the sides, but squeezing towards the mid part of your back. But we're in this incline position. So I'm gonna grab two heavier dumbbells since we are, we're not doing the flies this time. And we're doing 15 though, so it is gonna be the lightest. Get into position like we were doing the flies, chest on this bench. Palms are facing each other, and you're gonna row back. These are kind of like those single arm bent over rows, but we're doing them at the same time. Then slowly back down. Row up, squeezing those lats at the top, bringing those elbows, keeping those elbows close to the sides, all the way back down to full extension. Row up, squeeze to the top, then back down. You're gonna do a set of 15 of these dumbbell incline rows. Once you've done the 15, then you're gonna go ahead and rest for that one minute or pick up that jump rope. Then what we're gonna do, guys, is do the same thing we've done before. You're gonna do a set of 12 at an increased weight, uh, nine at an increased weight, and then six at the heaviest weight possible. So that basically completes the workout after that, but I do have a little bonus round in there for you guys today. So it's gonna be three rounds of pull-ups to failure with a 15 second rest in between. So I've got a pull-up bar back here. Once I go ahead and get the dumbbells out of the way, what we're gonna end up doing is as many pull-ups as we possibly can in to failure 
Once you reach failure, then you're then gonna go ahead and rest for only 15 seconds. So what that is gonna end up doing is you're gonna burn yourself out on as many pull-ups as you possibly can, and then you only get 15 seconds of rep. So even if you jump up there and you do six pull-ups, by the time you get up there again, maybe down to four, maybe then you're down to two. So I'm gonna jump up there. What you wanna do is you're gonna have palms facing forward, hands are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna do as many pull-ups as you possibly can on this bar. Once you've reached failure, chin up all the way over there. Once you've reached failure on this, you are then going to jump off that bar. You're then gonna go ahead and rest for only 15 seconds. So what that is gonna do, it's gonna allow you to burn that out, then you're gonna jump up there again, do as many as you can, rest for 15 seconds, do as many as you can. Now I understand, might not be able to get a lot of pull-ups on there. So another good option to do is to use a band on this bar. This is gonna allow you to get a little bit more on there. So go ahead and grab a band. You can throw this over the top of the bar. From this position, you can either start, depending on the height of your bar, you can either start standing, but bar a little bit lower than mine, you can get down on the ground in a seated position. From the seated position, you're gonna mimic that pull-up bar movement. So palms facing forward, you're gonna come down, squeeze at the bottom, all the way up. So you can do as many of these as you can. You could probably bust out 20, 30 of these before you've reached failure. So this might be a better option for those of you who aren't able to do that many pull-ups from the beginning. So do as many of those banded pull-ups as you possibly can, then go ahead and rest for that 15 seconds and do three rounds of that with the 15 seconds in between. And that will really just burn out those back muscles. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this workout. If you did, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and let me know in the comments section what else you wanna see here. And I will see you right back here tomorrow in the McFit Method Gym.